England must be broken today. The sun's out on a seaside town. On the train to Cork Castle. Oh. I'm in the ladies' room at Cork Castle Station. incredible tilt on this wall here this huge massive stone and masonry wall the whole castle was dynamited eventually and you can see this wall here has started to fall down but it hasn't fallen all the way so we're holding it up um wow yeah, there's the other side of it that whole thing there was was up here it's just just imagine how annoyed and angry and resentful the locals must have been when they saw this castle going up knowing that this fortress was being imposed on their on their community and uh, on their culture. Must have really hated it and with, and with good reason. Oh wow, I get 5G up here. I can see the famous five smoking pot from here. The castle looks like this now because in 1646 Oliver Cromwell's army blew it up during the English Civil War. Also found out that the name Corfe, as in Corfe Castle, comes from Old English and it means a cutting. And in this case, past the bush, there's a gap in the uh, in the chalk ridge there, caused by a little little river, little stream that runs down there. That's cut through the chalk over time. So the castle was perfectly sited. In a uh, in a natural crossing through the um, through the chalk ridges there, so cutting castle really that's essentially what it means. I'm trying to find a place called the Blue Pool. Uh, I've passed a few hikers on the way and they say, yeah, it's up that way. It's just go straight ahead. And I think I've been through a forest, a swamp, a uh, flooded river, another swamp, another forest. Now I'm on this open heathland by the looks of it. Okay, no swimming. But uh, just in case.
Time for a drink. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> back at Corfe Castle Station, now back to Swanage. Um, had a wonderful time here. The castle's awesome. The Fox Pub, excellent. And uh, the blue lake, pool, pond, something beautiful. I gotta get going. Oh. Train ticket. <laughs>